Edemia, formerly known as Safran Morpho, a French information technology company that supplied kits being used in the ongoing Huduma number registration, could be blacklisted from future transactions with Kenyan institutions. The National Assembly unanimously amended the Public Accounts Committee report and directed the Criminal Investigations Agency to probe Edemia for its role in the 2017 polls. As Francis Gashuri reports, MPs accused the company of flouting the law by entering into a multi-billion shilling contract with IEBC, yet it did not have a physical address in Kenya. In the run-up to the August 2017 general election and the October 2017 repeat presidential polls, IEBC awarded OT Mofo tenders worth over 6 billion shillings to provide election technology. But less than two years after the company supplied IEBC with over 40,000 Kenya integrated election management system kits, trouble looms for the French entity. Well, as many as that opinion say, I... The National Assembly has approved the Public Accounts Committee's report on the examinations of IEBC financial statements together with an amendment tabled by Homobi Town MP Peter Kaluma. The August House recommending that the Directorates of Criminal Investigations and Public Prosecutions undertake a probe and institute appropriate criminal action on OT Morpho, now known as MS Idemia, for doing business with IEBC before being registered as a foreign company as required by the Companies Act of 2015. Why should they have double standard? What Oti Mofo is doing in Kenya, they cannot do it in, in Paris or in France. They cannot do it in UK and in the US. Parliament further recommending that MS Idemia be blacklisted and barred from transacting business with any government agency for a period of at least 10 years if found culpable flouting provisions of the Companies Act. This is the law. Let us follow it because uh, when they were doing the procurement in 19, 2017, they knew that this was the law. Their lawyers should have told them so. I think that we should not in any way, uh, as a country, lean towards a status that would make us a banana republic, where multinationals can walk in and walk out, uh, walk in with a briefcase, and walk out with tons of money from this country without following due process. Other than investigating all contracts entered into between IEBC and OT Morpho as known then, Parliament also recommended that all monies unlawfully paid under these deals be recovered and the company directors prosecuted. Those who paid out will also be held personally liable if the DCI finds fault with the transactions. Some MPs, however, felt the recommendations could trigger a series of legal contests between the government and other foreign agencies. Not just this idea, it means so many other companies that have been doing business in this country may fall under this and it may easily, Mr. Speaker, make this country fall into a serious tornado of legal disputes coming from general companies because it's not just this company. That this company should have registered within our jurisdiction. If it did not, then it cannot be excused by this parliament because this is a very parliament that made the company law that requires that companies must have a footprint within this country for them to enter into contracts such as the one that Idemia entered into with the IEBC. It is also worth noting that MS Idemia was recently awarded the contract by the Ministry of Interior Affairs and Coordination of National Government to supply 31,500 kits that are being used in the ongoing National Integrated Identity Management Systems, NIMS, popularly known as Huduma Number, that will cost the taxpayer 6 billion shillings. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.